Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Ubiquity just released the Unified Dream Machine firmware version 1.8.3. This is a pretty big release. Uh, it has been going through beta for quite a while, so it's pretty thoroughly vetted, but there are a few things that are worth being aware of before upgrading. Uh, it should upgrade automatically if you have that set up to, to do on your UDM or UDM Pro. And th those are here in the bundled applications. So one is that you're getting the new controller, which is 6.0.41. Uh, this is a massive difference from the earlier controllers. It moves, the earlier controller was a five release. This is the six release, the one that I mentioned that probably everybody should hold off on. This has been, this has gone through several iterations as well and gotten, and has gotten a lot more stable. I still haven't given it a go yet, although I will be with this release because I'm while I haven't updated my UDM Pro to the 1.8.3 release, I will probably do that tonight. But that is definitely something to be aware of. Make sure you have a good backup. Take it as soon as possible. And if you don't want this to come on your UDM or UDM Pro, then you need to turn that off. Another thing is that you are getting, I believe, what is a beta release of Unify Protect. Yesterday, anyway, the current release was one dot. 1.5.16.8 was a beta release. Maybe they've released that, but I, I, I don't know. I'm not as familiar with the talk and access because I don't use those. Another thing of note here is that it includes uh, Suricata IPS version 4.1.8. I did a video about this, that it was coming in 1.8.3 a little while ago. Uh, so this is a great thing. I'm glad to see that th this is coming out to the UDM platform. Hopefully it also will come make its way to the USG platform. There are quite a few bug fixes, which are, are great to see as well. So again, this is just an FYI, a heads up. Make sure you have a backup. I will be updating this later once I can get everybody off the internet. I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And if you update to 1.8.3, please let me know how it went for you. Cheers.